Here we are in the middle of the second wave. We all knew it was coming. Well, some of us. But we were too afraid to admit to ourselves that it would cause such catastrophic outcomes. Only six years after the coronavirus COVID-19, we are now five weeks into the coronavirus, COVID-26, and 85% of the world's population are quarantined, self-isolated. The only way of communication for most of us to reach our loved ones or the outside world is through social media. Thank fuck for technology in the 21st century. I myself have succumbed to acting like a complete and utter slut, seeking company, solace, assurance, and mindless, reckless sexual abandonment with fellas online that I don't even fucking know from Adam. But alas, I keep in my mind occupied and my carnal desires satisfied. Hey Jeremy, how are you? Please tell me you've shaved today. Yeah, I've shaved, look. Yeah, last time it was like foraging around in a very dark jungle with no light at the end of the tunnel and I need to see a light at the end of the tunnel. Oh man, that's made a, um, a, a huge difference. Well done. Week six of isolation and guaranteed lack of contamination. I have found myself speaking to oneself even more than usual. I often did this even prior to the virus, even prior to puberty, but alas, it has taken over in uncontrollable measures. I was once told that it's fine to speak to yourself as long as you don't answer back. Once you've done that, your sanity is undeniably questionable. But I think in this current climate, no one really gives a fuck about their sanity. In fact, the more insane we feel, the less harder it becomes to deal. Hello, Dad. Hey, how are you? You all right? It must be really horrible in London at the moment for you, huh? Yeah. Are you still getting visits from those men in the white coats with the Meals on Wheels? Yeah, for now, but fact if I know when they'll pop their clogs for being such good fucking Samaritans. Oh, fucking idiots. Oh. Well, as long as you're happy, Dad, eh? Yeah. There'll be half a red bottle sitting on the wall. Week seven of isolation. There are no more government police escort approvals to the local pharmacist or the shops. Most stock has run out and I'm onto my last SSRI, which means my anxiety levels are going to plummet through the roof. I'm down to the last two bottles of wine too. This is definitely the end of life as we know it. So what do you get up to when you're in prison then? Okay, as long as you're happy and you're doing your bit for humankind. Yeah, <clears throat> like my neighbor who's here with me now, gagged and tied up. Yeah. I'm waiting for his last dance. Boris, come over here. Bend over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stop, what are you doing? I'd had enough of grim and macabre news or video shows. If I was going out, I wanted to go out with a bang. If COVID-26 was taking us down, then I would go down entertaining my online friends or acquaintances with a massive bang. 
Cockmonavirus, here I come. Matthew. How are you doing? It's uh, today, it's around the world. If you go up, you can go down. If you go round and round and round. If you go round and round and round. If you go down. 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 If you